Hi, I'm Nell Sanders, and this is Tell It Like It Is, where all things controversial are covered. This week I teamed up with Levi Sivian on the topic of fake news in the media. Unfortunately, the fake news epidemic has gained attention in the past few years, especially in relation to the 2016 presidential election. Misinformation and fake scandals are also common on social media platforms such as Facebook. False information damages trust and reliable news sources, spreads overall deceit to the public, and negatively impacts politics. So Levi and I wanted to know how aware our peers were of false news and decided to play a game of two truths and a lie with NHS students. Rather than two truths, we have two real news stories and one fake news story. The student has to guess which story is fake. Here are the three stories. Number one, the Philippine president was recently quoted as saying he wants to be to drug addicts what Hitler was to Jews. The prisons are currently struggling with overcrowding issues. Number two, on Donald Trump's recent trip to Russia, he and the Russian government came up with an agreement to cooperate together on the Syrian crisis. Number three, in India, the government recently devalued the two highest value rupees, which accounted for 86% of the currency in circulation. The government rushed new bills to banks and ATMs, but the lines got so long that the country entered a crisis. So take a moment to figure out which one is fake. And here's what NHS students thought. I feel like I have to say the first one. I mean, yeah, the other ones seem pretty realistic. I'm gonna go with the third one. Seems a little not possible for a leader to do. Um, I'm going with Trump going to Russia. I'm gonna have to go with the third one. That one about the currency, I think. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I want to say the second one is fake. Trump didn't go to Russia. I know Duarte actually said that about Hitler, and I know India people are at the ATMs and they can only take out like $40 at a time. So, Where do you guys get your news from? Um, definitely social media and the news app on my phone. Um, I get mine from my phone, um, the little news app that I guess comes on the phone. Uh, I watch uh, the news every single morning at like 6 o'clock, so yeah. Like the BuzzFeed and Cosmopolitan things on Snapchat. And then on the updates, on, like on my phone in the news section. Um, definitely a lot of BuzzFeed. Occasionally the Gazette. Um, my mom. <laughs> um, the Gazette, like I read that a lot. Like the world section. And then the, CAN, the CNN like section of Snapchat. <laughs> CNN, New York Times, everything Trump hates. I get my news off of Facebook. Number two was the false story. Again, I'm Nell Sanders, and this was Tell It Like It Is.